Man, I don't care what they tell y'all about tattoos, man. You know what? Five lies they tell you about tattoos. Five. Number one, once you start getting tattoos, you get used to it. It don't even hurt no more. I got nine tattoos. Every tattoo feel like I'm going to die. Every single tattoo feel like the Lord coming back. Every single tattoo sting the exact same. For the people that tell you, the more tattoos you get, the better they'll feel. It's like therapeutic. It ain't no damn therapeutic. It's like fire being poured on your skin. It's like herpes will put in a needle and just hurt for you. Hurt for you. Hurt for you. You know what? Gonorrhea for you. No matter how many tattoos you get, it heights heights number two as long as you put some lotion and oil on your tattoo tattoo maintenance is easy depending on who your tattoo artist is they usually put some ointment wrap it up in saran wrap give you some instructions and send you home once you get home they never really specify the amount of tattoo ointment you're supposed to put on this arm they don't tell you don't leave your tattoo under the water for this long because when it start to dry out it's gonna itch like the worst itch you've ever itched in your life it's gonna oh my god i feel like spongebob in the episode where he was just itching like he was crazy and he couldn't stop i just feel like taking this arm off for the next two weeks looking at it are you gonna heal or are you not gonna heal once it healed then put it back on dog i'm going crazy Tattoo maintenance is the toughest, most irritable thing, the most different, never the same thing ever. This tattoo did not feel like this tattoo. These tattoos right here, they feel like the tattoos on the back of my arm. This thing on my forearm making me not want to get tattooed ever again in my life. Number three, the tattoo on your rib cage hurts worse than anything you've ever gotten. I have a tattoo on my rib cage. Hurts like the dickens. Felt like my rib was being pulled out. I got a tattoo inside my bicep the other day. Right here. The little part where your underarm and where you put the yoda in. The little funky, musty, might be musty part. Bruh, there is no muscle there. It is all fat. When I say fat, fat like pig. When I say fat, fat like me when I take my shirt off. When I say fat, put the P in front of the H and make that fat. They say the inside of your hand is the most painful place to get tattooed. If the inside of my hand hurts worse than getting tattooed right here, Number four, once you get a tattoo and it heals up, you're going to be so happy with it. I was fortunate enough to have a dope tattoo artist, Brian out of Cherry Hill in Naples, Florida, right? My tattoo, he took his time. He laid me down. The only problem I got, I don't know why the hell I went and got a Shakespeare quote on my arm, and I've never read this book. Now I'm looking at myself every day like brevity is the soul of wit. And I'm trying to make myself feel better. Well, you know, Josh, you're a comedian. Brevity is the soul of wit. If you're brief with your jokes and you get them off real fast, that means you witty. Brian, thank you for making this tattoo look awesome. Brian, thank you for handling me like you're supposed to handle me. But I wish you would have talked to me and said, Josh, you, have you ever read that passage in Shakespeare? Do you know what comes before that? And after that, now for the rest of my life, I'm going to walk around. People say, what's your tattoo say? Brevity is the soul of wit. So what does that mean? It's for you to interpret. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> and number five, tattoos are addicting. It ain't the tattoos that are addicting. It's you trying to make up for the pain that you sounded like a wimp last time that's addicting. I walked into that tattoo shop. I got a couple tattoos on me already. I'm arrogant. I'm cocky. Put it right there. I'm straight. I'm ready to do this. He put that needle on me. I said, take that needle off me. He put that needle back on me. I said, you put that needle on me again? I'm calling the police on everybody in here. I'm not tough. It hurts. But I got to go back next time. Why you going back, John? Because I can't sound like a whip like I sounded like last time. I had tears in my eyes when I got up. You know how they put the paper down on the table when you let I get your tattoo when I got up? It was a sweat stain where my butt was. It was a sweat stain where the back of my knees was. The back of my knees don't even touch the, the don't even touch the damn mat. How did that mean the sweat was dripping from the back of my knee, bro? It was, it was a spine sweat stain. I got to go back. I gotta, I'm addicted to sounding and being tougher than I was before. I'm addicted to that. And brevity is the soul of wit, but John, what they got to do with it? I don't damn it, no, but it's on my arm, and I better make it sound great. That's what I am. <sighs> oh. I won't get out of your head. You're going to hear what I say. Going to give it to you straight. Just like Josh prayed. Ooh.